Like I was just walking in watching CNN as they lauded the, the quote the rallies in the streets. Are you, you, are you saying that the president got to let me finish, this Jen. This isn't a cable news segment. I'm answering your question right okay. now from the White House podium. Uh, That's a very nice tie, Jim, by oh, the way. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, especially this president who has made so many false and misleading statements that it has put, you know, fact checkers to work across the world. If you're going to get into the fact checking business, there's no one that should be fact checked more than the mainstream media that has been continually wrong about a number of things. Your network, CNN, botched their WikiLeaks email exclusive and were forced to make on-air corrections. CNN's Jim Shuto, another CNN one, uh, dropped a fictional bombshell in 2018, July, claiming that Michael Cohen would tell federal investigators that the president knew of the Trump Tower meeting. And there are many more, not to just put the onus on CNN there. So if anyone needs to be fact-checked, I think it should be the media. That rally is to be condoned, but not the president's rally. I mean, it's appalling. You have one person on your network saying that this is a celebration in the streets, a carnival-like atmosphere. There's a guy with a sign that says free hugs. Um, it's beautiful yeah, what's happening in the some streets. The there is music, people are hugging. You celebrate hugging in the context of a protest, but in a Trump rally where we celebrate historic low African-American unemployment, criminal justice reform, HBCUs, that rally is not allowed because guess what, Jim? It doesn't fit the ideological agenda of CNN. And the CDC guidelines uh, suggest that people practice social distancing. You're not going to be able to practice social distancing in a rally with thousands of people. So aren't you, in essence, uh, bringing people to a rally where they won't be abiding by those guidelines? It's a personal guidelines. choice of individuals as to what to do. But if we want to talk about internal coherence, um, I believe that the media needs to work on internal coherence. This wonderful New York Post story, I don't think Stephen Nelson's here, but good job to New York Post, highlights the hypocrisy of the media where this is OK protesting. This is not okay. Trump rallies. BC tweets at 4.05 p.m. Um, on June 14th, rally for black trans lives draws packed crowd to Brooklyn Museum Plaza, seeming, seeming to be lauding the protests. And then less than an hour and a half later, they say President Trump plans to rally, but health experts are questioning that decision. CBS had a similar yeah, Kaylee, these logically... Are, these, are, these are protesters protesting against injustice, against racism and police brutality. This is a rally, a political rally. They're, they're not going to be demonstrating for any kind of cause other than supporting the president. Does the president or the administration plan to make it very clear to the Russian Federation that there should not be bounties placed on the heads of American soldiers serving in Afghanistan? We make that clear each and every day to every country around the world that this president will always stand by our law enforcement. No, no one's been tougher on Russia. Not, not what law you're I'm talking about military what you're soldiers, talking, U.S. Yes, forces our, Of overseas. course, that's what I'm saying, our, our U.S. Not, forces. Not any country, the Russians. Will you, will you tell and the Kremlin country, and President but what Putin you're getting at put bounties on the heads of American What soldiers. you're getting at, of course, we tell each and every country that, but what you're getting at is uncorroborated intelligence and you're treating it as if it were true. Uh, to this day, there are varying views on the Russian bounty intelligence, um, DOD, NSC, and the ODNI all pointing that out. You know, I'm not going to answer a question based on unverified intelligence.